Greetings tubers, bookers, spacers, and tweeters out there. This is Chuck coming at you with another edition of Shower Curtain Movie Review where I review a movie that came out this past week in theaters and I see how it uh, stacks up again on the uh, shower curtain rod here. Uh, using the shower curtain rings as uh, my tool to uh, rate the film. And I should have done this earlier. I should have fixed these shower curtain rings before I started filming, but Anyway, gonna get them ready. There we go. Uh, so yeah, so I rate the rate the music, the music, the movie using the shower curtain rings. One shower curtain ring meaning it was terrible, and five shower curtain rings meaning it was fantabulous. So anyway, without much further ado, it's that time of year again, and I'm excited. I know you're excited. Of course, I'm talking about summer blockbuster movies. That's right, summer blockbuster movies. A time where the big movies come out that everybody can't wait to see and they they come out with with lots of merchandising I mean toys t-shirts you know water bottles I mean you name it uh, a lot of fast food tie-ins of course you know we, we love it this is why we love uh, summer blockbuster movies it, it's, it's almost like Christmas you've got the movie which is sort of the Christmas tree if you will and of course it's sprinkled with ornaments which the ornaments being the merchandising so it's a, it's a fun time of year, uh, anyway. So, of course, kicking off the summer blockbuster movies, uh, which came out this past weekend, was Iron Man 2, uh, which was much heavily awaited by um, everyone, I guess. I don't know. So, anyway, Jamie and I just got back from seeing Iron Man 2. Going to talk about the movie a little bit, see how it stacks up on the shower curtain rod. And hopefully, uh, this summer, I'll be giving you a review of each blockbuster movie that comes out. I'm going to try my best. It's expensive to see movies, let's face it. That's why I don't do these shower curtain movie reviews all the time. I'd love to do them as much as I could. But without any further, you know, chatting or whatnot, let's get down to it. Iron Man 2. Um, uh, uh, Aunt Tony Stark is back as Iron Man. Of course, played by um, Robert Downey Jr. I have to think about that for a minute. Um, so, yeah, uh, Tony Stark, he's Iron Man. It picks up pretty much where the last one left off. Uh, except... Uh, his, uh, the government wants the Iron Man suit. They want it for their for their own military uses and whatnot. And of course, Tony Stark is like, "No, I'm not going to do that." So he's, you know, he's a conflict with them. Uh, meanwhile, there's this guy named Ivan Vanko, um, played by Mickey Rourke, who uh, wants revenge on Tony Stark. So he makes his own Iron Man kind of get up and comes after Tony Stark. So uh, you know, Stark's got that going against him. Um, also. Uh, his company's starting to kind of crumble underneath him, and the battery pack is starting to like leak into his system, uh, which is pretty gross. Uh, the battery pack that powers the suit. So he's trying to find new technology so he can, you know, keep from dying. Uh, so yeah, so he's got all these conflicts against him and whatnot, and that's pretty much uh, what the movie's about. Now, uh, let's just talk. Let's break it down. Visual effects. Um, the visual effects were awesome. Cinematography was awesome. Um, just really, really, really cool visual effects in this movie. I mean, I, I knew that there there would be, you know, with with this film. Um, but yeah, really cool visual effects. Um, the acting, um, everybody did a great job, uh, especially Robert Downey Jr. I mean, he shined in this like he did uh, in the last one. Everybody did a really cool job. Uh, Mickey Rourke uh, did well. I don't know his 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 character was. Well, then we're talking about character, but he did a pretty good job acting, but I, I wasn't really, I don't know, his character was kind of turned me off a little bit. But uh, anyway, uh, it's filled with lots of action, uh, lots of explosions, lots of, you know, fast pace action, adventure, and whatnot. Everything you would expect in a summer blockbuster film, uh, especially a summer superhero film. And it wouldn't be summer without a superhero film. So, um, uh, yeah, you can expect that. Um, as far as story goes, story was pretty cool. Uh, I felt there was, you know, the, and this is kind of what they did with Spider-Man 3. They had, you know, they wanted to tell this big, bigger story than the first one. Um, uh, and, and, and in doing so, I felt like, I mean, there were moments where the movie kind of dragged a little bit at first. And, and there was kind of just a little bit too much going on. Um, so I felt we lost, uh, the film lost a little bit of its focus um, at, at points. Um, 
but yeah, I, you know, I felt like they were trying to tell a little bit too big of a story, and it kind of lost a little bit of focus. I didn't, I, you know, as far as that goes. Um, uh, and of course, it has its lighthearted moments that the first one did. Of course, Robert Downey Jr. You know, has a kind of a, you know, smart alecky kind of humor. Uh, had a lot of that in it, and um, but uh, yeah, I just you know I felt there was just a little much um, going on, and it kind of lost a little bit of focus. But towards the end, it really picked up, and it was just you know really blew me away. Really great, fun film. Um, yeah, just not really much to say about this. Um, I don't know, but uh, um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry it's late. Uh, anyway, uh, should you go see this in theaters or should you wait for it to see a rental? I would say go see this in theaters. You'll you'll be pleased that you know it, it's 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 got you know that bam boom wow factor. It's got um, it's got humor in it and it does its job as a summer blockbuster film. This was a good opener, a good lead in to the rest of the summer movies that are coming out. So. Without much further ado, let's just see how it stacks up on the shower curtain rings, shall we? All right, so I give Iron Man 2 not one, not two, not three, but four out of five shower curtain rings for Iron Man 2. That's right. Iron Man 2 receives four out of five shower curtain rings. Isn't that awesome? So, yeah, that's my review of Iron Man 2. Uh, go see it. It's a fun movie. You know, like I said, it kind of, you know, it, it, I'll go ahead and say this. It wasn't as good as the first one. Uh, you know, it doesn't, you know, and that's usually the case with sequels, I know. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't as good as the first one, but still a good film. Uh, go see it, and you'll enjoy it. So this has been another edition of Shower Curtain Movie Review. I hope everyone's doing great, and I'll see you in the next post. Bye-bye.